your coffee. One hundred. Huh? Well, look at you. How'd a girl like me ever get so lucky, huh? Coverage of the continuing volatile situation with communist China. Codsworth. Enjoy your coffee, sir. But the conflict has transitioned into a frighteningly tense stalemate. Good old USA. Diplomacy all but suspended and conventional warfare taking a historic toll on both sides. Many have wondered if the good old U.S. of A. hasn't finally entered into a fight. It just can't be. Oh, like and now for a brief look at the local weather. This weekend, unseasonably <laughs> warm temperatures You know, I was nervous at first, 56. but Codsworth's really good with Sean. But then we're looking at a cold front coming down from Canada, making it crisp and dry for next week's Halloween festivities. Looking in on next week's forecast, we have a high of 52 on Monday. It also appear our troops stationed overseas are experiencing some unusual weather as well. On the island of Mamba Jiao, the nights are cold, unseasonably so for Southeast Asia. But for the 5th Infantry, that's as comfortable as an autumn jamboree. All the easier for our mechanized Hellcats to drive any screaming commie memes right into the bohole sea. Can you get that? And now look at sports. It's probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. Something that Good is morning. vault calling. American. I am Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. <clears throat> you can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Then I'm glad you caught up with me. Oh, me too. You have no idea. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, um, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. But there's room for my entire family, right? Of course, of course. Minus your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Don't want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Won't take but a moment. Tell me more about this vault. Oh, it has all the amenities of the modern home, I assure you. Not to mention total protection from nuclear radiation and hostile mutants. A better future underground. It's not only our mission, it's our passion. Sure, let's do it. Splendid! Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. It's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Around the country. Voltec announced a continuation of their popular Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to call down. I think he needs some of that fraternal affection. Since debuting Volt 56 last year, none of America's... You heard Codsworth. Go on. Voltec continues to expand with 
plants well over 100 volts. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir, Mom, you should come and see this. Codsworth, what's wrong? Followed by, yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with say? our affiliate stations. We do, oh, we no. do have, we do have coming in. That's um, confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my God. We, we need to get to the vault now. I've got Sean. Let's go. Residents of Sanctuary Hills. If you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. Vault participants, this way! Think of that! Who cares? Just help me pack it up! Hey there. God, I can't lose these. They'll be all I have left. Residents of Sanctuary Hills. Vault participants, check in at the gate! That's absurd! I am out of the list. Set. You don't get in. I'm going in. You can't shut me. Whoa, oh, 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 okay, okay. We're gonna die I'm out here. Not in the if you're in the, we need to get in. God, we're gonna we're die. on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Get moving. You two, follow me. Come on. What's gonna happen to all those people outside we're doing the gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. Step on the platform, in the center! Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god! Hold on! We did it. We made it. Hey. We're okay. okay. Everyone, please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later... No, no, We'd all don't be. get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone, just head up these stairs and through the door there. Just this way, please. Hey, huh? We made it. Up the stairs, please. Vault Tech is here for you. This Excuse me. Oh. oh, my God. Welcome. Pick up a suit right Male. over there. Female. This way. Female Head down the hall. Those are good. Right over there, please. Just step over to the table. Over there. Take a seat. Hey. That was a nuke. A goddamn nuke. You'll need your suits before we can take you further. Where? We're safe. Uh, thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. It's gone. Our home. Everything we had. My hey there. Father down in We've lost oh, everything. you're gonna love it here. Oh, God, honey. This is what one of our most it? advanced facilities. I know this is a difficult time. Not that the others time, aren't great, mind but you. But Vault Tech will Sir? be with you every step of the way. How? 
you'll uh, How Move long along. do you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Don't you think? Just a few medical items we have to get through Let's first. Let's come to ball. Prepared for the future, right? Hey there. This way, please. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Pressurize you before we head deeper in the pond. Just relax. Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. <sighs> Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. In five, four. Your release! Come on, come on, come on! Oh God! I'll find who did this, and I'll get Sean back. I promise. Giant roaches? 
What the hell? Where is everyone? Nice. Coming back later for you. This all that's left.
surface. And thank you for choosing Vault Tech. Codsworth? You're, you're still here. So, other people could still be alive, too. Well, of course I'm still here. Surely you don't think a little radiation could deter the pride of General Atomics International? <laughs> but you seem the worse for wear. Best not let the wife see you in that state, hmm? Where is the missus, by the way? She's in a better place. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? Sean's been kidnapped, but I'm going to find him. I'm going to get my son back. It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> 200 years? What? Are you... A bit over 210, actually, sir. Or oh, give and take a little for the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? <laughs> you must be famished. What? Food? Uh, yeah, sure. I, I need a minute to think. Then I'll be right back.
be hiding from the Red Menace. The Red Menace? Why, the Communists, of course! The Russians and the Chinese! Codsworth, buddy. I don't think the Reds are going to be a problem anymore. I have an idea. Let's search the neighborhood together. After all, the Mrs. and young Sean, they're... they're my family, too. Codsworth. Are you sure you're holding up okay? I... I... Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing! And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. <laughs> and the car, the car! How do you polish rust? Stay with me, pal. Focus. I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were... dead. I did find this hollow tape. I, I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. Thank you, Codsworth. You're, you're welcome. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The Mrs. and young Sean may turn up yet. All right. Lead the way. Proud to serve, sir! Oopsie. <laughs> no, no, no. No fingers away. There we go. Okay. Just say it. Right there. Right there. <laughs> Yay. Hi, honey. Listen. I, I don't think that Sean and I need to tell you how great of a father you are. But we're going to anyway. Isn't that right? You are kind and loving. <laughs> Funny. That's right. And patient. So patient. Patience of a saint, my mom used to say. Look, with Sean and us all being home together, it's been an amazing year. But even so, I know our best days are yet to come. Mm. There'll be changes, sure. Things we need to adjust to. We'll rejoin the civilian workforce, and I'll shake the dust off my law degree. But everything we do, no matter how hard, we do it for our family. No, say goodbye, Sean. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Come on. <laughs> Bye, honey. We love you. If we only had a bobby pin. Thanks for trying, Codsworth. You can't give up, sir. What about the city? Concord is nearby, and, well, the people there have only shot at me a few times. There's still people alive in Concord? 
Yes, although they're a bit rough. Uh, you remember the way? Just across the southern footbridge, out of the neighborhood, and past the Red Rocket Station? I shall remain here and secure the home. Hey, Codsworth. There must be someone who can help you in Concord. Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? You lose your owner, buddy. Okay, then. Let's stick together. Over there. How you doing, buddy? Hey, boy. You know any tricks? Hey.
Hey, up here, on the balcony. I've got a group of settlers inside. The raiders are almost through the door. Grab that laser musket and help us, please! Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minuteman. Huh. Nah, Glad to help. Well, if that's true, we could use some more goodwill. As you can see, we're in a bit of a mess here. God damn it. Who are these people? Just folks looking for a new home, a fresh start. I've been with them since Quincy. 
Lexington looked good for a while, but the ghouls drove us out of there. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. It's just me, the Longs, Marcy and June. That's all Mama Murphy on the couch. And this here is Sturgis. Hey. Ghouls? What are ghouls? God damn wow. It. You really aren't from around here, are you? Ghouls are irradiated people. Uh, maybe. Most are just like you and me. They look pretty messed up and live for a long time, but they're still just people. The ones I'm talking about are different. The radiations uh, rotted yeah. their brains, made them feral. They'll rip you apart just as soon as look at you. Anyway, we figured Conquer would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But, well, we do have one idea. Let's hear it. Sturgis. Tell him. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school. Pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of Cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might. Protection with an added bonus. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? And I can use the minigun like a rifle? Don't see why not. It'll have a manual trigger. Just aim it at the bad guys and do the old spray and pray. Now, as for the armor, it's out of juice. Probably has been for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. I'll help if I can. What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement. Locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Can't be too hard. I'll see what I can do. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. I think I can pick this. No more British occupation! I'm to England with you! Have your tea you back, you chicken imps! Your taxation without representation!
beautiful kid. Yes. You get down here. Show me that fancy gun up close. Not a lot of people could get past my boys. I give you that. Hey, that was a pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you were on our side. You guys gonna be okay now? Yeah, for a while anyway. We can at least move some. Listen, when we first met, you said you were glad to help. Well, you did, and we owe you our lives. So here, it ain't much, but it's the best way I can say thank you. I didn't do it for money. Hey, sorry. I'm used to everyone being in it only for themselves. You know, you remind me of my friends. The other Minutemen. The ones who gave their lives for something bigger than themselves. You should come with us to Sanctuary. We could use the help. All right, Garvey. I'm in. Oh, that's wonderful. 
But there's more to your destiny, isn't there? I've seen it, and I know your pain. My destiny? What do you mean? You're a man out of time, out of hope. But all's not lost. I can feel your son's energy. He's alive. Where is my son? Where is Sean? Oh, I wish I knew, kid. I really do. But it's not like I can see your son. I can just feel his life force, his energy. He's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Diamond City. The biggest settlement around. Please, Mama Murphy. I'm working for nothing. I need more. Look, kid. I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The sight will paint a clearer picture. No. Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That junk. It's gonna kill you. Ah, shush, Preston. We're all gonna die Hey, Sturgis. Eventually. Hold on to that We're power armor now. Sight. Hate to see it go and rust. friend here? He's gonna need it too. Now let's <coughs> get going. We need to keep Sanctuary moving. Sanctuary awaits. All right, folks. Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move out. We're heading for that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. It's not far. She knows about it? You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her gourd? And now you want us to just head out on another wild goose chase based on no better plan than Mama Murphy saw it? It can oh, hardly hold turn on, out hold any on. worse than... Everybody just take it easy. We're all in this together, right? So Marcy, you got a better idea of what we should do next? Anybody? Well then, sanctuary it is. Let's just hope it lives up to its name. Come on, June. It's time to go. Oh, okay. Can't say I'm gonna miss this festering boil on the ass end of the Commonwealth. Uh, no offense if you're from here or something. <laughs>
Hey there. I'm glad you decided to come with us. I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? So, do you believe in these visions she has? I didn't used to, but how did she know about this place? I think she has some kind of a gift. Best not to ignore it. I mean, look at this place. I really think this could be what we've been looking for. I don't know. It's strange being back here. What do you mean? You used to live here or something? Yeah. Before the war. Before everything was ruined. What do you mean? Before what war? Are you saying... I lived here over 200 years ago. I was frozen or something for most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn. Like one of those old pre-war ghouls. You say you were frozen. Anybody else make it out with you? My son. Somebody took him away while I was still trapped. I've been looking for him. Damn. I'm sorry. I hope you find him. Let me know if there's any way I can help. Anyway, I am glad you're here. And I hope you don't mind, but I've got another favor to ask. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. They're still hoping there are Miniman out there somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Miniman is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out with the settlement? I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. The Miniman could use more people like you. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgis. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get. Sturgis. You willing to do some work? What kind of help do you need? Well, for starters, we could use some real beds. We've been sleeping on the ground for too long. I'd be glad to help. Okay. Good deal. Just make sure we can sleep with a roof over our heads. Some of these old houses still look solid enough to do the trick. There's a workbench over there you can use. Give me a holler if you need anything. Thank you. 
one of these ha houses would be a good place to set up some beds. Excuse me. Uh, hey, do you have a moment? I wanted to thank you for helping us out in Concord. If only we'd run into you sooner. Don't mention it. You guys have been through hell, huh? You have no idea. In these past few months, we've lost everything. My son, he's... He's gone. I understand how you feel. I lost someone, too. But you and I, we're still here, right? We have to go on. For them. Sturgis. I like it. Having a place to sleep will improve everyone's spirits. What we need now is a reliable source of clean water. I'm on it. Clean water coming up. <sighs> Great. Thanks again. You want my two caps? We should keep moving. Don't want to be pinned down when the raiders come.
Hey, Sturgis. I feel better already, knowing we have a reliable supply of clean water. I hope you don't mind me asking for some more help, but our food supplies are running low. If we're gonna settle here, we'll need to get some crops established. I'll start planting right away. Good deal. Seems to be growing well. Hey there. The Minuteman could use someone like you. I knew Sturgis would find something to keep you busy. At least it's not raining.
seems to be growing well. Let's trade. Just find a nice spot of ground and plant whatever you've got. Anything fresh will be a great change for us. What I'm doing to talk to you. I'm being sarcastic. Leave me alone. I just need to trade gear with you. What?